For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the internal shear for some moment at point C on this beam. As you can see, it's anchored at A, but it only, it's only laying on top of this pillar B, so it only has a vertical reaction here at PY and possibly a horizontal and a vertical reaction at A. So we're going to use this section to the right of C. I can tell you that right off the bat. So the first thing I would like to do is I would like to replace this loading with an equivalent force. It's a rectangular distributed load, therefore it has an equivalent force right in the middle of Fy and it's equal to the area of this rectangle which has a length of 12 feet from here to here is 12 feet times the height which is 500 pounds per feet and it is equal to 6,000 pounds okay that being said the first thing I want to do is find by find by so to find by we're gonna do the sum of the moments at A assuming clockwise is positive sum of the moments at A is equal to zero so we have this 900 and this 900 one going clockwise one going, one going counterclockwise so plus 900 minus 900 cancels each other out now we got the moment created by this distributed load which has an equivalent force of Fy so it's plus Fy because it creates a clockwise moment, clockwise moment about A times the distance from Fy to A which is 6 feet minus the moment created by By times the distance from A to By which is 12 and it is equal to 0 so we found Fy already all we gotta do is solve for By and when you do you get that By is equal to 3000 pounds so now we're gonna use the method of sections and we're gonna cut this beam in this section right here sorry actually this part is included on the section of course so there's no confusion so method of sections so the section that uh, is on the dotted uh, line inside the dotted line looks something like this so you know that this is C you know that we have a normal and C we have a share VC and you have a moment MC so that being said there's something to note here you have a distributed load some people forget that and they will think that you have just a by acting right here where this shear moment is but that's not true you still have a distributed load but it's half the length of the distributed load was before so let me draw that so most people understand there's still a distributed load right here that eventually ends exactly where by is that distributed load has to be replaced by an equivalent force acting right in the middle why right in the middle because it's a rectangular distributed load and it has a height of 500 pounds per feet and it has a length from here to by of six feet so that being said ah don't forget the moment 900 pound per foot moment this moment right here so that being said i'm going to redraw this uh this section right here with uh replacing the distributed load by another force let's call it fy prime so i'm going to redraw this section except that now i just replaced fy prime the distributed load by a force and there's a by here and there is a moment right here of 900 pounds per foot by we found at 3000 pounds 
and Fy prime is equal to the area of this rectangle which has a length of 6 feet and a height of 500 uh, pounds per foot which means that Fy comes out to be 6 times 500 which is 3000 pounds and here's C, here's the normal, here's the share and here's the moment at C that we're trying to find so now we got this diagram, this second diagram right here, of course. We use it to find the forces that we need. Some of the forces on the x is equal to zero, which means that the normal is equal to zero. Bam, we get the normal. Some of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So the shares coming down, Fy prime is coming down, but Y is coming up and all of that is equal to zero, so the share is equal to zero. Because as you can see, Fy prime is 3000, By is 3000, they cancel each other out, there's no share moment at C. And last but not least, assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments at C is equal to zero, so MC minus Fy times 3 feet, because from C to FY there's three feet, it's right in the middle of that distributed load that we cut in half before, plus BY times six feet, because BY is six feet from C, minus the moment at the far right, which is 900, and it is equal to zero. So you get that the moment is equal to negative 8,100 pounds per foot, which means it's just going now backwards from when we draw it. So let me correct it. MC is gonna be equal to counterclockwise. I mean, yeah, clockwise. So MC is equal to 8,100 pounds per foot. And let me put here corrected. Corrected on diagram. Because I turn it around on the diagram. So as you can see, it's going clockwise so let me put here clockwise so final answer for the moment final answer for the share and final answer for the normal force at C the point to remember about this sort of problems is when you have a distributed load going over the point that you're trying to find the share normal and moment remember the distributed load continues when you use the method of section you got to recalculate it with the new distributed load so that's the important point of this exercise please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you